Hey guys, DIY Maniac here. So as I mentioned in earlier videos, I wanted to start doing some product reviews. I take big advantage of product review uh, when researching before buying a product. So I want to give back. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing my home gym, my Marcy MWM 1001 home gym that I purchased here in Quebec, Canada at Costco for $349.99. So $350 plus tax. However, I have heard online that you can get it as cheap as $250 when it's on special. So this one was purchased a year and a half ago, and I'm going to go over some of the specs. So it has a 150 pound weight rack, vinyl coated weights. If we look at dimensions, we're looking at 68 inches long. So from front to back, we're looking at 35 inches wide. So the total width of the arm from arm to arm and for height 79 inches so it definitely fits in your standard ceiling height basement or room as you can see i have a standard ceiling height and i have a at least a foot of space on top of it so it, it it'll fit easily um, in any of the rooms you guys are going to want to use it in so some of you are probably saying to yourself john you just told us it's the marcy mwm 1001 but it's not what we're seeing well some of the stickers fell off um, over when you get it in shipment, this back panel has a protective transparent film over this sticker, the, uh, the company name and the model number. Well, when I peeled that protective layer off, some of the stickers came with it. Couldn't care less. I'm not getting paid by Marcy to advertise, so they don't have to have the accurate model number on it, uh, but just something to take note. As well, in the back here on the back plate, there is a big sticker that gives you demonstration images of the exercises that you can do with this machine. I took it off, don't need it. Don't feel like staring at pictures of men and women doing their exercises. So I took that off. But obviously you guys could leave it if you want. So if we pan down, we'll get back to about the weight system. So as you can see, here's your vinyl weights. It's 150 pound weight limit in increments of 10 pounds. And it goes to 14. Uh, that's because there is a, um, a plate on top of the one. So one is actually 20 pounds. Yeah, I know it's weird why they do it that way. I don't know but it is 150 pounds. They do have a model that goes to 200, maybe even one that goes to 250. Don't quote me on the 250 one, but I do know it goes to 200. So you are limited in increments of 10, unless you make a modification like I did. So let's come around back. Here's what I did on mine. As you can see, I took a clip and as well, a strap that comes with it. That's like an ankle strap for doing the leg exercises that I'll never use. And on that, I'm hanging a plate. So I'm hanging a five pound plate. So I can now go my weights in increments of five. You can even hang a two and a half pound plate or in combination with the five for seven and a half. If you really want to step your increments um, in between tens. So that gives you some of that versatility. So that's what I did on mine. So we're going to pan back and we're going to look at the different exercises you could do on this machine. So if we start from the top, we have our pulley and cable up high for doing your back exercises, your tricep exercises. The equipment itself comes with a length of chain and it comes with clips. I didn't use the clips it came with. They were very cheap looking. So I went to the hardware store and bought more sturdier ones. I also bought a longer length of chain to give me a little more versatility in my exercises. The equipment also comes with this bar for doing back exercises or seated um, preacher curls. It's usually a preacher bar for doing your curls. It's a good bar. It has some good weight to it. It's nice and thick and sturdy, comfortable handles. So I'm, I'm happy with that bar. Uh, the machine itself has a hanger up here for bar storage. Uh, do not try to try to do pull-ups or chin-ups when the bar is like that, as one of my friends thought he could do. Uh, you will kill yourself. It's a very thin metal and it's just spot welded on. So it's just meant for storage of that bar or any other kind of little accessory. If we pan down, we have the two bars here, which is for chest exercises, dual function. So as you see up here, we have these locking, locking pins. So right now the pins are out. If we were to put the pins in place like that, this locks the pivot point and the bar now gets pushed straight out. So that's for doing like seated bench press uh, for doing chest exercises. So with both hands, one hand on each bar, you push straight out. Uh, that locks it in place and doesn't allow it to pivot. Now, if you remove this pin, it allows the bars to pivot. And that now allows you to do your 
um, pectoral flies. So with the pivoting in place, the bar can now turn. Each bar becomes independent and you could do your, your flies. So that gives you a little versatility there. As well as the handle, uh, when you're doing your seated bench press, it gives you different areas where you could put your hand for better comfort or placement. You could grab it over here. You could come down low, up high, over here to get closer into your body to target different zones of the chest. So it does give you some versatility there. The seat cushion and the backrest, very comfortable. I'm being 100% serious. I'm very impressed with it. Um, I don't, it doesn't get, I don't get sweaty on it. Um, it's, it's comfortable to sit on when I'm doing my exercises, good back support, no complaints there. We come further down. We have our preacher curl, uh, rest, armrest. So it's a pad that sits on there. It is removable. It's held in place with a screw, a uh, little plastic handle and screw that locks it in place. My gripe with this is I wish it was a little bit wider. Uh, when I'm doing my preacher curls, I find that my arms feel like they're falling off the edges sometimes, especially when I'm putting on more weight and I'm struggling a little more. Uh, maybe it's just my technique. Maybe it's the bar I'm using. I don't use this bar for doing preacher curls. I find it a little too big. I use a smaller bar, this one over here, this little black one. Uh, but yeah, I wish, I wish that pad was a little bit wider. I think that would have been better. So like I said, I don't have the clamp in, but there's a screw clamp you would have to undo. And then this comes out. And that now allows you to do leg exercises. So you could sit down and you could do your leg raises. Uh, you could do reverse leg curls uh, on this as well. So there's not much in terms of leg exercise that you could do on it, but it gives you some at least. Come further down, we have another uh, cable, a uh, lower cable. So that's the one you would use for your bicep curls. You could use it for your shoulders, uh, shoulder pull-ups, uh, seated rows. Now, keep in mind on the diagram when you get this machine, it does not show you being able to do seated rows, back rows. I do it anyways. I sit on the floor here, I get my handle, and I go on to there and I pull and do my, my rows for my back. However, I think I know why you're not supposed to do it because I've been pulling the vinyl covering off my cable. So if we look down here, see how the vinyl's coming off the cable in this one section right here? And that's because there's a sharp metal edge underneath this pulley on this side. So when you're doing a seated row, instead of having the cable being directed through the pulley upwards, it's kind of being forced straight or even down a bit because you're seated. And it makes the cable rub on a sharp edge of metal here and it peels the insulation off. But the, I mean, I've been doing this for a year and a half. This insulation has been gone for just as long and the cable itself is still nice and smooth. So it's not like the cable is getting worn out. It's just that little vinyl covering. So something to take note of if you're going to be doing uh, seated rows, back rows with it, uh, that could possibly happen. So just keep that in mind. So as far as versatility in terms of exercises, you don't have a lot of exercises you could do with this particular machine, but you have enough. Uh, in the year and a half I've had it, I've been more than happy with it. I feel I'm getting a good workout. Um, don't have any complaints about it. Um, the build quality is very good. The uh, construction of the steel, it's 14 gauge steel. The powder coating has held up very well in the year and a half I've had it. Um, one suggestion I'll make is on your pivot joint, pivot spots, and even on your pulleys. Uh, when you're assembling it, put a little white lithium grease on the shafts to lubricate them. I didn't, and when I'm doing my pectoral flies, so you get that squeaking sound and that's because there's a nylon bushing in there and it needs to be lubricated so i'm gonna have to pull these out and put some grease or you maybe spray some penetrain oil in there um just to cut down on that noise but it's not the end of the world but yeah overall build quality i can't complain with at all cushions are comfortable um these cushions here have held up well there's no cracking there's no wear on them uh, same as the cushions down low for when you're doing your legs um, no big deformity uh, over time. They've been holding up very well. So no complaints at all with that. Like I said, in terms of accessories that it comes with, you get the chain, you get a couple of clamps, you get this bar here, which like I said, is a very good bar. You get that little ankle strap that I showed you in the back that I'm using to hang the weight, which in my opinion is useless. So you guys can go on Amazon and get yourself some extra accessories. So I went out and on Amazon, got a couple of these single arm, single hand handles for doing varying exercises. Um, as well, I got on Amazon a rope for doing different, you know, tricep exercises and stuff like that. So you can go out and buy accessories for your, you know, typical cable machine accessories that will work on this machine. 
Um, you know, if I had to go back a year and a half after having this for this amount of time, would I have spent a little more money as my weight training is progressing? Looking back, yes. I know eventually I might need to upgrade to something a little bit bigger uh, or with more versatility. But honestly, for the money, it's a great buying for your buck. I can't complain at all. I highly recommend it for the price. Uh, so I guess I got that's just a you know a quick and dirty review of the Marcy MWM 1001. Don't let the label fool you. Stickers have fallen off. Um, I strongly suggest if you guys want to go out and buy it, go out and buy it if, uh, if it's going to meet your needs. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below as usual. I'll get back to you. And thanks a lot for watching, guys.